now we will move towards checkbox option button combo box and list box why these controls are used just add a new form first we will take a checkbox while working on a database inside a form suppose you have a field language is known and three language choice is there for a user to select it but the condition depends you may know the language or you may not know the language if two actions are there on a particular button a check box is a suitable control for that purpose suppose we will just change the caption of these check boxes first english the second check box hindi the third one is marathi fine we have three languages here so a user can know two languages english hindi or english marathi so he can select all the languages at a time this is the speciality of check box and these four controls and h scroll bar v scroll bar are the replacement of text box inside text box we have to feed the value again and again for each and every time but if you use the check box with the help of mouse you can just select it we will just run this form set project 1 property startup object form 7 okay run the form see here easily you can select a value with the help of mouse if you press on all on the check boxes means if check mark is there the value is yes it is true if you click see the value is false means the default value is no the property of check box is the first property we have seen here that is caption we have just changed the name with the help of caption and the important property related to check box is value property see here inside this property you will find three different types of options unchecked checked and grid by default zero value is there means right mark is deactivated see one for checked and two for grid deselect option will be appeared see so by default unchecked the next is option button the option button is basically used to select only one value at a time for example you have a field gender so out of two any one value can be selected opposite of check box just we will run the form see here male or female here all the values can be selected if you have four option buttons on a single form suppose we will take two more option buttons here account type saving 
or current. We will just run this form. Start. See here, out of four options, only one value is selected, but these two options are different, and this is a different label, account type. So for this purpose, you have to maintain these controls in a particular control. See here, we will just cut these controls from here and place it inside a frame or a picture control. The control which supports a collection of controls. See here, just take a frame and click on paste. For gender also select, cut it, take a frame. Frame is nothing but a collection of controls. Paste, fine. Just run the form now. See here, male or female and here also saving or current. So this is a simple logic to maintain option buttons on a form. The next is combo box. To maintain a list of values, we have to use a drop down combo box. Same as option button, only one value can be selected at a time. But, but ops when two to three or four options are there, but more than three to four options, if you have a number of list values, suppose countries list, so minimum 90 to 100 countries are there. For that, we can't take option buttons, 100 option buttons. So instead of that, we have just placed a combo box control, move to properties. The properties related to combo box are first is text, remove the default text, select it, press delete. Then move to list property to maintain a list, click on arrow, type the country list here, suppose India. USA press control enter to feed a new value control enter fine the next property is sorted property. By default, it is false. If you set it to true, the list which we have entered here inside list box will be automatically set in ascending order. We'll just convert it to true. Fine. The next property is style property. By default, zero drop down combo property is set right now. If you press simple combo, the drop down arrow will be removed, but you can scroll the values with the help of keyboard cursors. You can see the preview at runtime, and if you select drop down, a arrow mark is there, but a read only property has been set to combo box. A new value cannot be added to this combo box. So by default, we are just keeping it drop down combo. So these were the properties related to combo box. Same properties are used for list box also. See here, we'll just run the program. Start. See checkbox, more than one value can be selected. Option button, only one value. And inside a combo box also, only one value. See at the time of feeding we have inserted India, Japan and at last Afghan but, so, but sorted property set to true it automatically arranges the values in ascending order. So inside the database concept you can use these controls in different ways. Instead of typing the value inside a text box 
use the checkbox, option button, list box and combo box. We have seen how to add a list value with the help of list property but we can add these values through a coding also. We will just see how to add it. Take one more combo box. Combo 2 is there. Double click. Just change the event to got focus. As previously we have seen the lost focus event when cursor removed from that position the event is fired but when cursor reaches on that particular control at that time the code will be executed. Inside combo 2 we require a value see add item suppose blood groups we have to add here a positive inside double quotes just add a value to this is a method how to add a value through coding Fine. Just we will run the form start. See here these values are set through the list property. Here if you click you will find the values has been added. Got focus. See once again if you just move to this combo box the repeated values you will find here. Why? As we have selected a got focus event each and every time if you click on arrow you will get more values added. To avoid this we will just make a change inside a code. Always before adding the value just clear the combo box combo 2 dot clear. Now that problem will be solved. See here if you move a positive fine once again if you move same values will be displayed. So we have seen here the use of checkbox, option button, combo box and list box. We will see more examples.